The FCT Administration Special Ministerial Tax Force has continued its crackdown on illegal settlements, clearing the shanty settlements situated behind the National Park and the National Military Cemetery along the Abuja Airport Road. Again, Usman Katu Umar was there and he tells us more. As part of ongoing Operation Sweep led by FCT Commissioner of Police, Mr. Ola Tunji Disu, the task force demolished and set fire to hundreds of makeshift structures primarily constructed from sacks, planks and zinc scraps that has been erected along the Abuja Rail Corridor. This exercise follows a directive from FCT Minister Barista Eze Mwenye Somwiki aimed at clearing the city centre of unplanned structures and criminal activities. Mr. Adam Ogwari, Director of FCT Security Services Department, represented by Dr. Peter Olumuji, Secretary of the FCT Security Services Department Command and Control Center, said the settlements had become hotspots for unauthorized occupants and criminal elements. The operation is a holistic operation that covers different activities. Like for this particular place where we are removing the illegal shanties and the, and the structures, the Honorable Minister have categorically um, said it that all those who own plot of land should develop it or face revocation. And we believe, and most of them here have complained over time, that the reason why they've not been able to have access to their plot of land is because of these shanties and the criminal elements that are here. They've tried to take over their plot of land in time past and they've come under severe attack. But today the administration have come with this tax team to, to help them clear this place of those shanties. So we expect the owners of the plot of land here to immediately, immediately take over the plot of land and start development. Because if you allow, uh, if you don't take over, it, the illegal um, uh, settlers can also still return back here. Meanwhile, Ibrahim Yusuf, secretary of the Ruga community in the area, expressed the concerns of displaced residents. We have been in this community for over 20 years. No, as they do, wait, over 20 years. We have been demolished more than, demolition have, they've, they've come for demolition here more than 20 times. Listen, please, please, yeah, nobody's talking to you. They've come here more than 20 times and we are still here. We're appealing for the, to the government. We're appealing to the government. Uh, we would want a resettlement. Whatever condition they can give us to resettle us, I think we are ready to accept those conditions. This is just our appeal. Are you ready so to I'm vacate this? Because we are not ready, we, we can be ready to vacate, but we are not ready to leave Abuja. And we will always want to find a place to put our heads. So it means demolition will continue. <coughs> so I think it's important for us to come to terms with the government. Let's all understand, nobody is fighting anyone. We would need to have an understanding between us and the government. As this exercise continues, many observers are calling on the government to also pay attention to bridging the ever-widening housing gap in the nation's capital by providing low-cost housing projects for the less privileged. Usman Khatun Umar, Aso Television News.